new system from Boya called BYWM8. This is two-channel system. It's got two transmitters and one receiver, which can take signal from both transmitters. There are two microphones, lavalier microphones, with uh, solid clamps and with a Sennheiser type thumb screw. And you have two leads. One is mini jack to XLR, another lead also with some screw is the mini jack to mini jack. There are two mounts, so you can put them uh, to your system down here or to receiver, so you can use hot shoe mount. And there are belt clips here. Uh, you have uh, two AA type batteries for each. Uh, unit. You have power button. When you press it, press and hold it long, so display will lead and you will have all your information here. You have mic uh, connector here and you can screw your lavalier mic here or I used also very popular Sennheiser ME2 mic. It performed also very good with this system. And you have possibility to take signal from, for example, mixer. There is a line-in connector. So you can take one of your leads and you can record signal, for example, from sound mixer. Good feature. The blue LED indicate that your batteries are OK, system turned on, but when LED turns red, so there is a time to change batteries. Middle button here, it's called set. You can go from channel selection to volume selection and back. System got 48 channels, so you always can find most clean, most, most pure sound and uh, avoid distortions. Then you press it once again, you go to volume and you have possibility to select one of the 32 attenuation or volume levels. You have also indication of the battery here. And one more thing, when you press power button short, you can see you have your system mute. It doesn't send a signal. If you have private talk, you can always use this button. So cameraman, Camera operator will not hear what you're doing, what you gossip about. Good, let's switch it off and let's go to, to receiver. You can use line connector, XLR or mini jack and you have to connect your system to record or to camera. You can also connect your earphones here. It's a great possibility for monitoring. And then you have to turn system on. It is simple, like this. So your display is lit now and you can see channel and battery state level. More, you, you can see the green LED here it shows that your system is on. When this LED turns red, it indicates there is a time to change battery. Set button. You go from different sets. You can now set up the channel, volume and stereo mono. Set again, you're coming back to channel. You have 48 channel to select. So always find the best channel you love, most pure. Volume. You have 32 volume levels. And again, stereo mono. You can use mono, you can use stereo. When you turn your transmitter, you can see the green LED is lit and it shows that transmitter A is in touch, it is on. When you turn another transmitter, another green LED appears and now all of them here. So you can always, when you stand behind the camera, you can always see that transmitter is okay, you have connection and your battery is okay. That's the basic 
thing about the system. Let's take new system BYWM8 go and make field tests. Well, now I have a Boya stereo receiver connected to GVC camera. I use mini jack connection at the moment and I have two transmitters on me and I decided to use one transmitter, this transmitter connected to Sennheiser ME2 mic and this transmitter connected to Boya kit mic. I will extend distance, I will go further forward and I will check how it works and uh, while I'm walking I will uh, tell about my ideas. I love to use stereo mode on the receiver because if you have your journalist or speaker and uh, your guest, two persons, uh, in stereo mode you can record uh, two tracks. So in post-production you can adjust levels and adjust the quality of the sound separately. Uh, another thing, I did not play a lot with levels of attenuation because you have 31 level of attenuation on both receiver and transmitter and then you have to find out uh, what um, proportion will give you the best quality to avoid uh, and to lower down white noise, to avoid the some distortions and uh, not to make your level too low or too high. Check one two, 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 check one two. I think it was uh, Sennheiser now. Yes, it is on active mode and uh, kit mic in passive position. Now we jump back. Check one two, check one two, check one two. Check one two, check one two, check one two. Check one two, check one two, check one two. Check one two, check one two, check one two. Check one two, check one two, check one two. Check one two, check one two, check one two. Check one two, check one two, check one two. Okay. Now I have both mics on active position again and uh, that's the short field test which I wanted to show you. What I like about this system, it is very simple in use and what I feel uh, this system got the uh, good qualities for low budget productions and uh, I really enjoy new stereo mode. The only last thing I would love to show is uh, to connect one of the transmitters to uh, dynamic microphone, bar dynamic, and uh, uh, let's see how it works. I used XLR balanced to mini jack unbalanced lead. I have now very short lead. This set kind of can give you a, a good chance to spare the time because uh, because uh, the the preparation with uh, with lavalier mic usually take quite a lot of time. One have to pocket to put uh, transmitter to pocket. One have to put the uh, lavalier mic, hide it and check and so on and so on. But this is very handy, very simple in use, very fast and uh, you can easily use it in many different situations. Plus, dynamic mic is not that sensitive, you know. It does not record a lot of ambience sound. So it's great for speak uh, because when you move it away, so you almost cannot hear your voice. Uh, but when you keep it closer, then you have quite a good sound and uh, ambience doesn't hit your main main speech main line. So that's the that's my impressions about this new system and thank you for attention.